What's going on, everybody? This is the end of beta. Uh, and some of us thought that this day would never come, uh, but it's here. Or is it? Because I think we just heard that there is going to be some reprints of beta. And I picked these boxes up here on Friday uh, for a nice price of $200 right after the announcement uh, that Team Covenant was out of stock. I uh, came in with a little bit of a rip. So we're going to... We're going to crack this. It's a good excuse to crack it. And I, I want to talk a little bit about the market, what I think is going to happen in the next couple months. And uh, also, we're doing a giveaway today. So for two folks, this is going to trigger here. Um, we're going to give away boxes. At the first 50 likes, it'll trigger for one box to win. If, you know, somebody who leaves a comment and subscribes. At 75 likes, the second box will trigger. So what I do is I, I take all the comments, I do a random number generator, and boom, I instantly reach out and and we'll, we'll give away these boxes. And these boxes are really awesome. Like I said, I I um, use them for my sorcery decks, for my commander decks, and magic comes with the sleeve, the mag sleeve uh, has a nice uh, dice box and everything in here for it. And you know you can actually have it rest and sit up that you can draw your cards from. So. The really great box. We're giving away two today, so remember, like, subscribe, and even if you don't want to try to win, try to, you know, add the likes to, you know, help it trigger and for other folks to, you know, potentially get a chance at winning. Now, we're going to go ahead and get into the opening as I flip the camera here, and, uh, you know, I'm not selling anymore. I'm done selling. If anything, I'm buying, right? And I'm buying uh, things like this, um, which after today's announcement of a small reprint, gets me a little bit anxious, not going to lie. Um, you know, I, just because you don't know how small things are, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's not going to be very much. Um, but I actually like the fact that it's out of stock and, you know, I guess that's cause I'm more on the collector side, but I also do understand that we need, we need cards for players. We need cards for LGS. So let's go ahead and we're going to get cracked into this box. I don't expect anything big to come of this, to be honest. Um, and part of the reason for that is because, you know, I don't know, I, some store had two boxes and it's like, did they open a case that wasn't, was clumped with bad stuff and, and here we are? I don't know. But this is going to be one of the final boxes that I open. I am going to try to snag Rudy's deal, get the promo, get the play mat, and um, I, I'm going to try to do that. And if I do, I might open one of those boxes. But you wouldn't believe, guys believe how many of these I have. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and start cracking. Things are crazy out there, and I've I've found that in terms of pricing, a lot of the non foils haven't moved much, except for the heavy hitters. The duels duels went insane. We saw duels at fifteen bucks a card. Illusionist, Anchorman, and fifteen is that? I mean, that's not. That's not the way it should be. Dual foil, which I only need two foils to complete my set. And the dual foil was going for like 150 to 200. Like it's insane. So duels have been moving like crazy. Um, if you got some like a lighthouse like here, hold on to it. Um, you know, who knows if it'll ever be reprinted or what's going on. So hold on to that thing. Um, primordial, very nice. And... Uh, there's, there's definitely been a lot of movement in things like Mirror Realm. Obviously, the cores, um, non-foil, have doubled. Uh, you saw a lot of action on the Ruby Core foil. And I kind of expected that because the Ruby Core foil was, was just too cheap. You know, it was just, it was way too cheap. Blaze, Bridge Troll, Poltergeist. Oh, we got our Omen. We got a foil in here. Looks like a Hydra. Oh, yeah. The Hydra's foil. Actually, I needed this until really recently, so here we are. Um, I need a windmill and I need a mirror realm. That's all I need. Um, but I am going to hold on to all of these cards. Um, I'm not going to sell any of them. Man, that just looks so much different in foil. Am I wrong or am I wrong? Like, why does that look so different? Um, stones. Stones went from 120, 130, all all the way up to uh, 200 for um, you know plain stones. Foil stones. There's the non, there's the non foil version. Foil stones have doubled from 
you know, 1,100 to 2,000 to 2,500. <gasps> no freaking way. No way. This is one of the final cards of one of the final two cards that I needed to complete my foil set. And here we are. This is like, this is unbelievable. Um, this is better than me pulling like a stone or anything. Cause for me, I need this and there's not many on the market at the moment. Um, this is incredible. I can't believe I pulled this. So that's amazing. Um, now I'm, I only need one card, Mirror Realm Foil. If we pull that, I'm just gonna like run out of the room and just leave you guys. Oh, we got another foil. Sisters. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. Foil stones, I mean, they're they're going crazy, and it's also... Oh my god, what a pack. Aqueduct foil. You gotta be kidding, another dual foil. This was like, this is pretty crazy. This is It's gonna be hard not to open that other box that you guys see there behind me. Holy cow. These things, well, windmill's going for like 150 right now. Aqueduct's going for like 80 right now. I mean, crazy. Those are two awesome, awesome foils. And Hydra is actually a pretty good one, too, because it's kind of scarce. Sisters, again, du duplicates of the sisters. And I, I, I attribute that to the uh, to the Omen. The Omen kind of helped us do that. Um, ruins. Ruins foil are like 250 right now. And you're going to start to see Alpha creep up, too, because at some point you're going to say, well, Alpha is x times what beta is and at some point somebody's gonna say well does that make sense or because beta's going up should alpha go up too maybe all right magnetic muzzle common sense maidens clansman geomancer uh well, this box is a win already i pulled one of the two cards i need and um we can go home floodplain step <laughs> all right a jihad non-foil. Okay, um, this is pretty awesome for our first unique hit. Um, I, I, the jihad foils are really expensive right now. Um, and I expect them to kind of go higher. They're less available than crusade foils are. Crusade foils are probably 2x the print run of uh, jihad foils. And that's what scares me about any additional print run. Like, are these... Are these, we'll call balances, uh, going to be disrupted? Nice roots. Um, anybody snag that playmat? You can leave a comment if you did. Um, so, I worry that it's going to throw off the balance, right? Because I've invested in cards that I know are underprinted, right? Backstab, foil. Sea Raider foil, will this change? And, you know, will there be a ton more hounds, um, backstabs, and Sea Raiders entering the market? And will, will you start to see some pressure because of that on the foil side? I, I like to see the, the non-foils get reprinted. I think that that's, that's a good thing. Um, we, we do need availability. I'm, I just uh, think there's a good balance, and I, I do trust the, the team to... Um, yeah, I mean, to do that, because they've... Oh, Drums of Doom. I recently just had to grab that one. I've never pulled it. We're just hitting crazy foils. Like, this was this was pretty wild. If we hit a backstab, I think I'm just going to run out of the room, too. I do trust the team, because like I said, they've been doing... They've been doing really well so far. I mean, it's been spot on. This has just been incredible. Ancient Dragon, okay... Scarabs, the bolt. Vantage Hills, man. We're hitting some foil lands. Jeez. Foil sites, sorry. I keep saying land. Somebody's going to correct me. I know, I know. I've opened 60 boxes of this stuff. I know. There we go. Quagmire. Oh, we got another foil in here. Island Leviathan. Oh, what do we got here? Fire, Swan, Minor Explosion. Okay. Okay, nothing crazy. A little minor. A little minor explosion. Again, it looks so much different. Why does it look so different? The nice thing about this today for my opening is I'm not listing any of this stuff. I'm just keeping it. 
Oh, a nice observatory. You want to hold that going into the end of the end of days here with beta, right? I've only pulled two unique so far, so there's there's definitely an onyx core in here. This is just a good box. Sea Raider tempting us there. Edge of the world, okay. Little fade. Scent. Can't believe we pulled a windmill. That's wild. Cobalt. Devil's egg, okay. Troll. Who's gonna miss this stuff though? I mean, everybody's gonna wanna be like, hey, let's open some beta. And I didn't even get it to buy as many sealed as I wanted to. Crossroads, okay, drown. Everyone's gonna, gonna wanna open this stuff. I mean, but a small print run is probably good for just, you know, LGS to get the hands on, to have some events with. Like, it is a good thing. It's a good thing. Um, you know, obviously my, my nervousness is from um, the foil perspective and the ratios that were locked in as of Friday, you know, saying that, I, you know, the whole print run's done. And again, I guess Rudy's position, too, could have some clumping in it, right? Midland, okay, Midland. Not a crazy unique there, but that's okay. Like I said, I might open one more box of beta, and unless I get a good deal or it makes sense for me to boneyard another unique, not the not the top top unique, but it is what it is. And unless I get another good deal or it makes sense value wise to do it. Um, you know, I may open one or two here or there for fun, but otherwise I'm, you know, I'll see everyone in Arthurian Legends. Um, how long? There we go. Fire, outline, Sandstorm, Rogue, Sleep. Okay. We're still missing a lot. We have three more foils and uh, at least, I think, three more uniques here. So, oh, Imperial Road. Okay. I mean, it was such a solid box, it makes me curious to open the other one. Puppet Master, okay. And again, I'm not doing prices today just because it, I mean, the prices are going to be insane on this stuff, right? You figure Aqueduct and Windmill were at 220 right there. Like, it's it's going to be insane. The, oh, another, <laughs> another Omen. Um, the collectability on a lot of these things is, is wild. And I know there's a lot of naysayers in the magic community about sorcery, but, you know, give it time. Three, four sets in, uh, you know, I think people are gonna, gonna have to look, you know? Bosk. Oh, foil pulled. That's like three, three, uh, poltergeists in one video. It's like pretty crazy. There we go. That's a foil one too. So what are we at? We're at seven foils. Two more to go. We got a bunch of elite foils too. We have at least three elites there. So we've had a good run. Rest in peace. Okay. Give me some likes, like I said, to let us trigger some of those giveaways. Maze. Plumed. Muck. Okay. Globe. Okay.
Wrath. Not seeing too much movement on curios, to be honest, though, given the the notice of um, you know beta being out. Uh, I kind of expected to see a little more, but it does make sense, in a, a, you know, from the fact of, well, there's so few to begin with. Does it really matter if it's in or out of print? Because there's just so few of them, All right? Does it really matter? Oh, I don't know. I don't think it's going to affect price that much. Shield wall, clamor. Oh, Grandmaster, these things were getting bought up on Friday like crazy. Okay, Plumed, Rimland. Well, we still have a lot of stuff to pull here. We have three more Uniques and about two more Foils. So, what do we got? One, two, three, Narcotic Manuscript for our fifth Unique. Not a bad one. Oh, 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 Free City. Look at that, Ooh, those land sites. Wild. Again, obviously, I am not selling this. So. Windmill, steer. No curio. I mean, I don't think it would be in that slot anyway. Couple packs left. We're gonna go out with a bang here. We got one more foil and one more unique. One, two, three. Occult ritual. Okay. So that's our five. We're nothing crazy in the uniques. We had a jihad. You know that was pretty nice. Vile imp. Uh huh. Uh huh. Heat ray. Oops. I'm in the wrong path here. One, two, three. There we go. Wrong pile. We have two more packs left. I'm excited to see what's going to happen with Dust. Dust is coming. I went big on Arthurian Legends, too. I, I, I reserved 24 boxes. So, I'm excited for that. Unland. Nothing. Last pack. This one must contain a foil. I'm quite sure of it. I do have a few more videos I'll be launching after this, but they were recorded prior to the notice on Friday. So um, I'm just going to kind of get those out over the next couple uh, couple of months, slowly trickle them, maybe one a week, something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What? I'm going to have to go back through this because now I'm a little perplexed. We only have eight. Eight foils. This has never happened to me in my entire time of opening packs. I've gotten one pack with ten, but never with less. So, um, you know, uh, happy finale, everybody. Uh, we, we reached, again, the end of beta, and uh, excited to see what's going to happen with the market, you know, from all the fallout. So, talk to you all later.